All right, so it's uh, Eagle Steve here. So something that's always bothered me about the toilets, right? Uh, we have a standard, uh, you know, one flush toilet here. And I, um, I'm always bothered by the fact that, you know, you can't just make it a one, two flush here, right? So what I'm gonna try and do is, um, you, you know, going down, you, know, you can actually just make it go a little bit, just to flush it, just a little bit, just to get a little bit of water to go number one, right? So number two, sometimes it goes all the way down and, it uh, you know empties the entire tank out. My thought is I'm actually going to take apart this unit here, and I'm going to uh, cut a little bit of plastic off the handle, right? Because this handle here has a limit switch where actually it limits going this way, and it won't allow it to come back up, right? So it actually won't come back up at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the uh, handle here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to shave off just across here and on the other side. Uh, it will still stop it from uh, you know going all the way down. But what I want to make it do is actually um, allow the handle to go down just enough. Just to pull that down there. Just enough to flush for number two. And then the handle will still sit pretty much flush right against there so it should come up to a build there once I uh, cut those parts off there and if I have to I'll just cut the handle off just a little bit there just allow it to come up or I'll just add some spacers on top of the uh, part that there that allows the um, uh, where the cover goes on there so if you want number one you pull up and it'll actually stop it from going too far that way the tank won't empty itself and if you want number two you just push down and boom it should go so we'll see how it works out and all right, so here's the update now. So basically I uh, cut out a little bit of the plastic on the top and the bottom. Normally the handle would be resting right about there um, because it has stoppers in behind the, this little plastic thing here. Right? So I just grooved it out the top and the bottom. That allows the handle to rest a little bit higher. Now for number one, now all I need to do is just push it up and it's stopped by the tank right there, the, top, the tank lid. So basically, that there is only allowing a little bit of water out, right? Just for number one, right? Just for your, your and you don't need to empty the whole tank out just to uh, do that. So you want to do number two, you pull it down like normal, and boom, it goes. Uh, underneath, uh, because the handle um, would normally hit the top of the uh, the tank part right here, uh, I put little rubber feet just underneath there. I just glued uh, three rubber feet there just to give the front a little bit more of a, uh, a little bit more height there that allows the handle to move up right so there you go that's how you can uh, actually only took about maybe 10 minutes with the dremel just carve out that carve out that and then just make sure that the inside where the um the uh the, the chain attaches to the handle on the inside here is very very tight and just make sure you, you check it to make sure that you know when the uh the ball cock goes back down over the top of the valve that it uh, it rests in there so there you go. Bye for now.